What can a dollar get you? Can of soda? Candy bar? How about a plot of land? The San Jose City Council unanimously approved a five-year land lease to build a 150-bed emergency interim housing site. John Sobrato and the Sobrato organization is leasing the land to the city for one dollar a year. What this would do is open up private land to be part of the solution to homelessness. That's not something we've done. All of our sites today are on publicly owned land, city owned land, VTA land, Caltrans land. This is a potential game changer. The units will feature many of the amenities as other tiny home projects, but they will be solar powered with limited hookups to allow them to be moved off site when the lease is up. Mayor Mahan says the average stay for residents in similar units is six to nine months, with more than 50% moving to permanent housing. So he says 1,500 people could be housed here over five years. It's creating a pipeline out of homelessness to combat the pipeline into homelessness that is far too common in our community today. While the city views this plot of land as an absolute win, the surrounding community is not as happy. We have lost trust and disappointed in our community representative and mayor. Issa Ajloni says neighbors voice their disapproval to this plan to their council member Arjun Batra, saying South San Jose already has more tiny homes than other parts of the city. Council member Batra agreed no more tiny homes in this area and would include this in his memo. The community was all surprised when his memo omitted this because the mayor would not agree. Council member Bachter then told the community he would ask for no encampment zone when the city council would vote. He failed the community again when he did not mention this in his motion. The approved plan would prioritize unhoused residents currently close to the new site when deciding who gets to live on the property. Council member Batra says the council will explore designated no encampment zones near tiny homes in the future, but for now. Our goal would be to get this new site built, have those encampments which are there nearby, those people move into these things and clear out the encampment and hopefully never have another encampment appear in that area. Construction is likely to begin in early to mid-2024. In San Jose, Dustin Dorsey, ABC7 News.